let's get to start demo first of open ai api using lm studio so see here is the lm studio i have installed and this is actually given that you know also as a chatbot options as well as a api option so if you go to here so now here actually they are providing that api so which api you want to run if you run so this is a server actually which is running in this this port you see over here this port and this options actually it is uh, providing is on the you know, a cor you know scores enable or not request queuing and you know server logs and apply prompting right so all uh, things actually they are providing the options and using this actually we can use uh, using the chat options over here we can chat as well as assistance and roles and uh, if we I get that uh, using that api so that also will be provided so let me check it for example this is api actually that is exposed by the lm studio once i send the request if you see over here it is just trying to actually uh, connect and the return the result over here right and then once you complete it they will return back that result whatever actually prompt you are asking so based on this actually they generating a response and they return back to the response as a api and that api actually we can use which is completely free without any cost without any you know subscription and without any invest of money right so that is actually completely free that's why you now see i'm getting the response and same response you also able to see in your postman as well now see now i'm getting the same response and also one more thing actually over here which is the best thing now see without any authentications and without any extra passing any things only just passing the body and that uri you will get that information and same things they also two api actually they have exposed one is that you know whatever compilation chant compilations so based on the prompt they will return the result and as well as that uh, api also that models whatever models actually you are trying to use that models information also they will provide now open that e studio uh, lm studio over here now see uh, actually there is a many many models also we can use it right so as of now what i am using i am using this model like uh, l l ma three instruction and this guy right but yeah there is a many many option this is a powerful actually uh, software actually which will uh, give it that uh, more and more options which is also provide the offline facility so let's get start to you know uh, set up and implementations and which also one more thing actually we have to show you uh, before implementation so i just actually creating a uh, blazor application right uh, which is integrating also that open ai api and here see i just whatever question if i prompted so for example my uh, what is what is uh, ai right if you are asking some questions so once you send these questions right so see it is uh, sending the request and again if you open that lm studio you will able to see that logging as well like same whatever request you sending so they are generating that response and the response once completed you will get that response and binding see by response we are getting that response simply this is a small response we are getting and that see i'm just binding over here so this is actually will show you how we can do that so before proceeding this i'm especially recommend please watch my you know uh, go to my channel right so this is my you know dot net real world example and here you have to watch you know this session first because i have already created a blazor application which is integrated our open ai uh, chatbot but that was uh you know paid service right so now this time i'll show you uh how we can use without you know paid service this is a completely free and this is also that time i use which is given by open ai api that is uh, why the trial so that why i am using but implementation perspective should be complete same right there is a no changes but only i'll show you how we can you know set up that open ai in your locally which we can use uh, for learning perspective and also that will be completely free right so first what you need to do go to you know google's and here you have to just search you know lm studio this guy right once you search definitely you will get this 
you know site right this is actually your official website lm studio and here uh, just go to that side and here see there's uh, some options for this environment like whatever your operating system based on this actually they're providing that software so as of now i have a window so what i can do simply you can just install that window version so i already installed so uh, just you know download and install i already done so this is a, a normal process so i'm not going to that but yeah simply once download and install and complete it once you complete it you will get uh, this this uh, you know uh, this software i can uh, interface over here and here actually then after that actually what you need to do you have to just require you know some models uh, some you know model which will which we can use to our prompting and you know chat completion and whatever things actually we want so same thing actually see over here many many options also whatever things you want you can just do it over here right and see i just install this guy lm llama you know 3 and this guy and which is also saying it is downloaded right it is downloaded done so actually see this is file size also it is a very big right so this is actually install and keep it your local if you want to see so go to that my folder here see here they look send see the location as well so this location actually they will store that you know big model install over here so that you can use in a an offline as well so like that actually you can just install and set up so once you set up here the options and the search option so if you go to the search option you can ask actually whatever the new model so that also you can just ask and you can just install now another one is a ai chat right so once you go to ai chat here you also they are giving that one interface where you can just asking that you know informations uh prompting that your prompt and then they will give that information just for example how how to create you know a school how to create a school management system right so once you create this now see they will give that all the informations one by one and also i just checked actually compare this is a very very powerful uh rather than you know others model so i if they actually giving the very very details things so which i am not getting from that you know uh, zemini and other system but yeah here i can get it so yeah that that actually very useful for us uh now i just trying to stop see many many things actually they are providing right so like that actually you can chat as well right and then once you chat now say there is a playground options as well so i'm not going to use this guy because this is also taking some more things over here right so that is a normal things but yeah uh this is actually important so if you see over here once you click that local server so they will actually manage our local server which is uh, providing our this endpoints so if you open over here see these endpoints like chat completion chat embedding embedding one and also there is a one more options if you here now see these are endpoints actually they provide it right and also once you just you know first time just let me stop it so once you uh, first time install you will able to see here uh, that it will not start and also they will give some default port but whatever port you want you can just set it and then just start and make sure one more thing actually once you consume this api right so this is open ai api so once you're trying to consume in your application so definitely this option should be enabled so this is very very important so by default it is false or actually keep it false but yeah once you're trying to using this api so just you know and uh, on this uh, options right and then you are able to get this uh, consume this api and get the response and let me start again so once you start uh, your server they will give this you know uh, this uh, logs over here okay so this is that get endpoint this is a post endpoint right this is also as a post endpoint those are things actually we can use it right so now this is a complete uh, process like how we can install and how we can use it for this lemma lm studio right now how we can uh, running up server as well so once you done now uh, go to your postman and simply uh, you can just use see how we can use it right so this is again 
uh, need to focus over here so this is your chat completions url so simply copy over here go back to postman and here let me just edit from scratch i'll show you go to here edit over here and then uh, only just first you guys just check it this is a post endpoint and pass it the url and then in this body go to the row and you go to the json right because it's a json and you have to uh, actually this also you can just get from here they actually given some example so if you go to here so copy this code right so the see it is just giving some example copy this code and go to any notepad over here and see this is just given this you now uh, sample example so you can use it your sample example for example this guy so they also providing actually you can pass it the multiple one also so go back to here and uh, you go to your postman and change it to over here as a message right so let me change it to message and also i'll just keep it one only i'm not passing that multiple one and like that and there's a one more option actually model so whatever model you want right so like chat gpt uh, gpt 3.5 or 4 or something else right so you can just pass it over here right and then once you pass and just hit enter uh hit send that button once you send the button you're able to see they are trying to get that information right and once you get that done they will show that response as well here and as well as your see i'm getting that response this is a response and once you go back over here i'm also getting that response same to over here with this model right so this is actually we are using that current our lm studio community and llama 3 uh, model over here so like that actually we can consume our api right and uh, once you consume over here so i'll show you the next one how we can use in our uh, applications so this is the same application actually so in our blazor application which i show in a demo so let me show you see this is our blazor web application uh, using that basm or web assembly right so here's nothing i have to do what i'm just already actually i just created so i'm not creating again so you can just refer this as this uh, repository in my github link so what i'm trying to do over here see i have that uh, open ai service over i have just created over here right and here nothing i have to do simply this is that method i'm uh, getting that prompt whatever prompt uh, user is sending and here see i just creating same model right whatever model actually uh, whatever request actually we required so over here same request i'm just trying to convert in our c sharp logic and go back to your code here now see i just creating same logic uh, same object and here i just create a content using that you know serialize and then you know using that string contain and using uh convert it to over here as a you know type encoded type and then storing as a content right and once you get the content i'm using that http client which is i i injected in the service and this inject and you know, a client just using that post method and passing to our uri right what is my uri and what is our content and where is my uri i just keep it in our you know, application judging file see these two things actually i just keep it over here and there's a uri i'm just getting but i'm not getting any api key and all right but this is actually i just keep it uh for the last actually just once i you know using that real open ai uh, api right so which is actually now they providing some a uh, paid su uh, subscription right so we don't require actually that api key if you require any paid subscription then definitely you require that api key but yeah for this using this lm studio uh, open ai api so you don't require anything for that so now i setting that upper url and then go back to over here and simply i'm getting that response and this response i'm reading over here and simply where i'm getting that response i'm just getting that response from this you know message and content right and then we have set it over here and if we go to index.page here i put some logic and all actually i just implement so here simply i'm getting that response and then adding this object and empty and then 
uh, you know change that uh, you know, some logic and all and i'm showing that a response in our ui so like that actually we have just implement over here so let me adjust connecting again, again one more time for example you know how to use lm studio right for example like that and once you send so it will it will again send back to our server see and back to our server you are getting that response and all and once you complete it it will upload it in our ui now see i'm getting a response and go back to over here i'm getting this you know nice response with the, all the steps right so like that actually uh, we can use and set up our local open ai uh, without any uh, without any co subscription paid subscription right we can use it and we can learn it right so that's all for this session and thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share